जय हिंद एवरी वन माई नेम इज अमृता भटनागर टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन अ गुड टॉपिक ऑफ कंप्यूटर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वर्चुअल मेमरी वर्चुअल मेमरी इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इन यूनिट फोर वर्चुअल मेमरी इज ए मेमरी विच इज नॉट फिजिकली प्रेजेंट इन अवर कंप्यूटर वर्चुअल मेमरी इज ए कॉन्सेप्ट बाई विच अ प्रोग्रामर फाइंड अ इल्यूजन दैट ही हैज ए ए लार्ज और ह्यूज मेमरी इन द सिस्टम सो फर्स्टली वी विल सी वॉट आर द मेन आउटलाइन ऑफ दिस लेक्चर दिस इज द आउटलाइन ऑफ दिस लेक्चर इंट्रोडक्शन टू वर्चुअल मेमरी फर्स्टली वी अंडरस्टैंड वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ वर्चुअल मेमरी एंड वाई इट इज रिक्वायर्ड इन अवर कंप्यूटर सिस्टम नेक्स्ट इज एड्रेस स्पेस एंड मेमरी स्टे स्पेस वॉट इज एड्रेस स्पेस वॉट इज मेमरी स्पेस हाउ वी कैन कैलकुलेट इट एड्रेस मैपिंग स्कीम पेज रिप्लेसमेंट the process of page replacement why it is required and how we can done it and last one is page replacement algorithms so these are the main topic of this lecture introduction to virtual memory virtual memory is a valuable concept in a computer architecture that allows us to run large sophisticated programs on a computer even it has a relative small amount of ram so basically main use of our virtual memory is when we have a large program which is larger than the ram virtual memory breaks programs into fixed size blocks called pages if a computer has a abundant physical memory the operating system loads all a programs pages into ram if not the os fits as much as it can and runs the instruction in those pages when the computer is done with those pages it loads the rest of the program into ram possibly overwriting earlier pages because the operating system automatically manages these details this uh, overwriting earlier pages and because the operating automatically manages this detail this frees the software developer to concentrate on program features and not worry about memory issue virtual memory in coa is simply a technique used to provide a illusion of a presence of large main memory to the program when in actual it's not present physically okay so this memory is not physically present in our system but it provide a illusion to the programmer the size of the virtual memory is equivalent to the size of secondary storage memory each virtual address or logical address reference the cpu is mapped to a physical address in main memory so we should understand firstly what is the meaning of virtual address and physical address why we use virtual address why we use physical address? so we should understand we have two memories in our system first memory is secondary storage memory and second is main memory this is our main memory and this is our secondary storage memory okay now all the data is stored in the secondary storage memory but the size of main memory is smaller than main memory smaller than large memory or secondary storage memory so only recently access data will be stored in the main memory because the size of the uh, main memory is less than hard disk or our secondary storage memory so when we uh, run a program which is larger than the main memory then we require this virtual memory we will convert this program into small pages and we will upload these pages in the main memory only that pages which is which are required that time only that pages will be uploaded in the main memory and after that these pages will be replaced by the other pages so this is the concept of virtual memory now the question is what is virtual address here the address of the secondary storage memory is virtual address okay so in the case of uh, virtual memory the address of virtual memory is virtual address and this virtual address is converted into 
physical address which is the address of main memory. So, this is the two type of address and the uh, mapping between these two address is known as a virtual memory concept, virtual address and physical address. Now, the question is what is the meaning of address space and memory space? Addresses that are used by the program are known as virtual addresses and the set of such addresses is known as address space. Okay. So, the address of secondary storage or auxiliary memory is known as virtual address and a group of these virtual addresses is known as address space. Now, the next question is what is memory space? A space or spot where the address is saved in main memory is referred as a location of physical address. The set of such location is known as the memory space. Okay? The address of the main memory is known as a physical address and the set of these type of address is known as a memory space. The memory space hold the actual memory, main memory location that are directly addressable for processing. Fine. So, we have now we have two addresses. First one is our virtual address. So, CPU will generate virtual address and this virtual address will be converted into physical address which is the address of main memory. Fine. So, this mapping is known as a virtual memory, conversion of virtual address into physical address. Now, you can see here, this is the address mapping using pages. Address space here, now meaning the hard disk or auxiliary memory size is here 8K. So, we have 2 raised power 13 address spaces here and 13 bits are required to uh, find out the address for it. Okay? So, 13 bit we have 13 bits for uh, find out a address into the uh, auxiliary memory. In the case, the memory space is 4K which is equal to 2 raised power 12. So, here memory space is 2 raised power 12. Now, we require 12 bits only for the address of the main memory. Okay. So, virtual address size is here 13 bits and physical memory size is here 12 bits. Now, we have to convert this uh, 13 bit address into 12 bits. Fine. So, so we will use mapping technique to convert 13 bit address into 12 bit. 13 bit address, this 13 bit address is your virtual address and this 12 bit address is your physical address. Fine. So, uh, the conversion of this uh, virtual address to physical address is known as a virtual memory concept. Now, we will see here, this is the pages with the addresses of uh, these pages are uh, 13 bits and each page have uh, uh, 1024 words. And in this case, this is a block and each block have 1024 words here. So, the size of the block and pages are similar, but the for the auxiliary memory, we are using page and for the main memory, we are using term block here. So, so pages will be transferred into the blocks. Then, CPU can access the particular page after the transfer into the main memory. Now, you can see here this is the memory table in a page system. You can see here this is the virtual address. Now, we are taking a virtual address of 13 bits here, where we have two parts of the virtual address. First one is page number and another one is line number. We have taken 3 bits for the uh, page number. Why we have taken 3 bits for the page number? You can see here we have 8 pages here. So, if the if we have 8 pages, it means we require 
uh, 2 raise power 3 it means we are we are requiring 3 bits for identify a page and after uh, to reach on the page we need a word and to find out the word we require 10 bits because we have 1 0 2 4 words in each page that is why we require 2 raise power 10 means we require 10 bits for the line number here fine. So, we can see here this is in this case we have 13 bit of virtual address which divided into two parts page number and line number. Here page number is 101 3 bit number. So, by the help of this page number we can find out the page and after reaching on the page we will get line number here. This is a line number fine. Right? You can see here this is the virtual address. Fine. Now, the mapping scheme uh, will be there for converting this page number into block number because CPU cannot uh, directly access the uh, <coughs> auxiliary memory. CPU will uh, directly access the main memory only. So, that we have to transfer this uh, page into the block. So, we have to convert this virtual address into physical address. How we will convert this virtual address into um, physical address? This is the uh, memory page table. Here we will have a table. You can see here we have 8 pages so that we have 8 entries here 0, 0, 2, 1, 1, 1. 8 pages are here and after that you can see here this is the block number where this page is stored in the block in main memory. If this page is uh, available in the block so then the uh, number of block is present here and this present bit is also one here. You can see this is the present bit. If the value, value of this present bit is one then it means this page is available in the block. If the present bit of this block is 0 then it be, it means uh, the, uh, this page is not available in the main memory at that time. So, this you can see here this space is empty here. When the uh, page is transferred into block then the block number will be inserted here and the present bit will be 1 here. So, that you, we can see here the here the page number is 101. So, yeah, we can see this example here 101 is stored in the block 01 and present bit is 1 it means this is this already uh, transferred into the main memory. So, we can see in the 0 1 block where this num page number is stored ok. So, we from this memory page table we will find out 0 1 block number and this 0 1 block number will be converted into uh, will be taken and converted the virtual address into physical address. Now, we will take 0 1 block number and line number will be taken as uh, as copy will be here from the virtual address. The line number will be same here, but the uh, page number will convert into block number. Now, you can see here this is the physical address. Now, this virtual address is converted into physical address. physical address fine ok. Now, this is physical address. Now, we can find out from this address into main memory. You can see here 0 1 for example, this is 0 0 block, this is 0 1 block, this is 1 0 block and this is 1 1 block. So, this page 1 0 1 page is stored in the 0 1 block ok. Now, we can find out this page in this block ok and after this find out this page we can transfer it into memory buffer register and it can be executed by the CPU. So, this is the mapping scheme by which we can convert virtual address into physical address fine. After uh, converting this address we can easily uh, execute uh, this instruction or this pages uh, from the main memory ok fine. Now, now the another topic is associative memory page table. What is the meaning of memory page table here? You can see here we have memory page table implemented by RAM only here. In the case of RAM we have the number of entry equal to number of pages in our uh, 
auxiliary memory so that uh, here we have eight pages that's why we have eight entry but here only four pages are uh, available in the main memory because the size of the main memory is only four pages for the, so it can uh, insert only four pages only because the size of the main memory is less than auxiliary memory so that these entries are empty here and this is the weight stage of memory so there is no need to keep uh, that much uh, large memory table here memory page table here so we are if we now um, convert this page table into a uh, small table where we have only four entries because we can insert only four entries into the main memory so there is no need other uh, empty entries here so so, so we will implement it this uh, memory page table with by the help of associative memory in the case of associative memory we this is just also known as a content addressable memory where we have no address but we match the address uh, match the addresses or match the content not addresses we uh, match the content here so you can see here this is the virtual address in the argument register of the uh, memory page table okay you can see here 101 is your page number and this is the line number now this is the key register and 111 in the starting three bits it means we have to match uh, starting three bits of the virtual address okay so we can find out this uh, virtual address into the this me uh, associative memory page table we have 101 okay you can see here this is matched in the 101 and again you can see here the block number for this page uh, number so in this way we can easily find out the block number but we have seen there only four entries are there uh, because there is no need to other entries here because only when the size of main memory is only four blocks so that we uh, always we have only four pages in the our memory that's why there is no need to other entries here so that in this case we can reduce the size of the uh, memory page table which is implemented by associative memory page table which is better than the ram implementation now the under, we should understand page replacement in the virtual memory okay uh, where, where, uh, i have already discussed about that virtual memory is not a memory physically present in the computer it is a concept by which we can convert convert virtual address which is the address of the auxiliary memory into physical address okay but the size of the main memory is uh, less than auxiliary memory so that we can con uh, keep only limited data in the main memory so we have to replace the data when uh, when uh, new data is required by the cpu so we need a page replacement we have to uh, swap the pages in the main memory which pages are not required that time we, we that pages will be replaced the Placed by the new pages. This process is known as a page replacement. So, we, to understand the page replacement, we should understand the meaning of page fault here. What is the page fault? When a page referenced by the CPU is not found in the main memory, it is called page fault. When a page fault occur, the required page has to be fetched from the secondary memory into main memory. Okay, when the page is not available, which is required by the CPU, then it is known as a page fault. When page fault happens, then the required page will be transferred from the secondary memory to the main memory. Now, the next process is required is demand paging. Demand paging is a process in which data is moved from secondary memory to RAM on the demand basis only, which means all data is not stored in the main memory because the space is limited in RAM. So, if the CPU demands the process, if that page is not in RAM, then swapping is needed. Okay, then it means demand paging is required when page fault occur and uh, uh, after demanding by the CPU, the page will be transferred from the secondary memory to the main memory. Now, what is meaning of 
पेज रिप्लेसमेंट पेज रिप्लेसमेंट इज ए प्रोसेस ऑफ स्वेपिंग आउट एंड एग्जिस्टिंग पेज फ्रॉम द फ्रेम ऑफ मेन मेमोरी एंड रिप्लेसिंग इट द विद द रिक्वायर्ड पेज दिस इज नोन एज ए पेज रिप्लेसमेंट पेज वेन पेज रिप्लेसमेंट इज रिक्वायर्ड ऑल द फ्रेम्स ऑफ मेन मेमरीज आर ऑलरेडी ऑक्यूपाइड थर्स द पेज हैज टू बी रिप्लेस टू क्रिएट ए रूम फॉर द रिक्वायर्ड पेज सो वी हैव ओनली लिमिटेड साइज ऑफ मेमरी सो दैट वी हैव टू रिप्लेस सम पेजेस फ्रॉम द न्यू पेजेस वेन वी रिक्वायर ए न्यू पेज इन द कंप्यूटर ना ना पेज रिप्लेसमेंट एलगोर्थे वेन वी हैव टू रिप्लेस द पेजेस फ्रॉम द मेन मेमरी देन देर शुड बी ए सम एलगोर्थिम बाई द हेल्प ऑफ सम एलगोर्थिम वी विल रिप्लेस द पेजेस फॉर एग्जाम्पल वेन वी आर यूजिंग फॉर एग्जाम्पल फीफो फीफो मीन्स फर्स्ट इन फर्स्ट आउट पेज रिप्लेसमेंट इट मीन्स द पेज विच हैज बीन इंसर्टेड इन द मेन मेमरी फर्स्ट विल बी रिप्लेसड फर्स्ट ऑल्सो so uh, you can see here fifo or first in first out is a simple implementation method in this method memory selects the page for the replacement that has been in the virtual address of the memory for the longest time okay the so first in first out means the page arrive firstly will be replaced first features whenever a new page loaded the page recently comes in the memory is removed so it is easy to decide which page required to be removed as it identification number is always at the fifo stack the oldest page in the main memory is one that should be selected for replacement first so you can say, uh, uh, say that the oldest page will be replaced from the main memory now the next algorithm is optimal algorithm the optimal page replacement method select that page for the replacement for which the time to the next reference is longest so in this case we will see the future reference if the page is not going to uh, reference in the future then we can replace that that page okay the features optimal algorithm result in fewest number of page faults this algorithm is difficult to implement an optimal page replacement algorithm method has lowest page fault this is the main advantage of this optimal page algorithm method this algorithm exists and which should be called minimum or optimal replace the page which unlike to use for longer period of time it is it only uses the time when a need when a page needs to be used okay so in the case of optimal uh, algorithm we will check the future possibility if this page, page is not going to use in the future also then we can replace this page so okay so but this have uh, limited number of page for that's why this is a good algorithm for page replacement in main memory now the like, next is lru page replacement the full form of lru is least recently used this method helps os to find page uses over a short period of time this algorithm should be implemented by associating a counter with an even page now what is the meaning of lru lru is for least recently used page least recently used page means uh, least recently used page means uh, the page which is not access from the longer time which is not required by the cpu in the longer time how it works page which has not been used for the longest time in the main memory is the one that will be selected or replace replacement 
easy to implement keep a list replacing pages by looking back into time features the lru replacement method has the highest count this counter is also called aging registers which specify their age and how much their associated pages should also be referenced so we have a register with the associated with the uh, this lru replacement method in the with the each page we have a aging register if the, the page is not required from the uh, last uh, time last uh, particular time then this page will be Uh, replaced by the another another page the page which has not been used for the longest time in the main memory is one that should be selected for replacement it also keeps a list and replaces pages by looking back into time so these are the main replacement algorithms okay now the advantages of virtual memory what are the main advantage which which uh, uh, that's why with this virtual memory is required in our system virtual memory helps to gain speed when only a particular segment of the program is required for the execution of the program okay so uh, when uh, it will gain speed meant means it will speed up the program okay it is very helpful in implementing a multi programming environment it allow us to more application at once it helps us to fit many large programs into smaller program so, so basically this is the main advantage of our virtual memory this when this virtual memory is required when we have large type of programs uh, which are not fits in our main memory at a time then we will convert or divided these pages uh, these uh, programs into pages and only those pages will be uh, transferred in the main memory and after the using these pages these pages will be replaced by the new pages so that we can execute large programs and programmer get the illusion that uh, he has a large memory on his uh disposal okay so these are the main advantage of virtual memory hope you will understand uh, by this explanation explanation you will understand virtual memory easily thank you